Here's our original circuit, the original experiment, and I have made several changes, and this is where the changes are, and let's see, one of the biggest changes are the two 10K resistors, the bias resistors. Here's the changes. You can see that the top bias resistor is now 20K, and the bottom one is now 4.7K. And I've added in the audio circuit, a 10K and a .01 microfarad capacitor, and the feedback capacitor that's running from the feedback coil to the gate is now dot zero zero three three microfarads. Added an antenna and a five hundred pico farad capacitor. This is what the change did to that sine wave that we were putting out with the original circuit. It went from this to this. It's an improvement but it's not as pretty as I would like it. And I can make it into a very nice sine wave by changing that 4.7K resistor, the bottom bias resistor. You change that to like 4.3, somewhere in that neighborhood, maybe a little less and you get a really nice sine wave, but the output is very low. You don't get something for nothing. So I decided on 4.7. It makes a pretty good sine wave. It's certainly better than uh, what it uh, used to be, and uh, it works. Here is the build for this circuit, the new circuit, and here I have labeled all the parts. Let's take a look at how this AM transmitter works. The two bias resistors, the 20K and the 4.7K, supply the bias voltage to the gate of the MOSFET. That allows the MOSFET to conduct from the source to the drain, and that goes through the 80 turns of the coil on its way to the 12 volt supply. This current induces a little bit of feedback current in the 20 turns and that goes through our feedback capacitor to the gate and now we have positive feedback. Positive feedback means that if the MOSFET is conducting more the voltage coming out of that coil helps the MOSFET add to that. If it is conducting less the feedback coming out of that 20 turns helps it to conduct less. So it's positive feedback means either direction. If it's going up, it helps it go up. If it's going down, it helps it go down. That's positive feedback. Now the rest of this, I'm going to add an audio signal onto this. And an audio signal is basically AC. It's going back and forth. And this back and forth voltage is adding and subtracting from the DC bias on the gate, which is varying the voltage going through that MOSFET a little bit with the audio. And that is where the AM modulation comes from. The oscillator is oscillating. We're changing the 
DC bias, a little bit on the gate with the audio, making the oscillator go up and down just a little bit in amplitude modulation. I've got my little AM receiver right here. I'll turn that on. Turn it up a little bit. And my source is going to be this MP3 player here. It's also a radio, but I, I'm going to have it on a uh, MP3 file. And we'll see what happens here. Let's see. Let me start this first. So you can see. Oops. Got to hold that down. There we go. Model. What kind of language is that? Are you are a model? Are you anti-model? Now, which is it? I okay. am a model. And Turn on the like transmitter. The I don't like it, Irene. It's too mysterious for me. Now we'll plug right this in. You mean everything was all wrong? We had to have more money, didn't we? Someone had to pay the bills. Aren't you glad my work is easier, Mother? I am. But I'd like to know what it is. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing for you and Johnny. And you can trust me, Mother. You know you can trust me. I hope so, Irene. For your own sake, I hope so. Say, Bob, have you seen Irene? Well, not lately. Uh, last time I saw her, she was dancing with Bowden. Bowden? Why didn't you cut in? Who, me? <laughs> you forget yourself, my man. I'm uh, Madame Lucy around here. I can't dance. Hey, what's the matter with Bowden anyway? Oh, nothing much. You're afraid she'll fall for his money? No, of course not. She's not that tight. Well, what's the matter? Uh, are you just a little bit jealous? Jealous? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> watching.